This is what life at UMaine Orono should look like in late March. Lots of students hustling and bustling on campus. But with the COVID-19 outbreak and almost all of the students gone, things are very different. But those who are still here still need to eat. Obviously, with what's going on right now with our campus being shut down, our dining halls are not functioning the way they would normally be. That is why the Black Bear Exchange Food Pantry is open. Now a to-go service for students, staff and faculty still here or nearby. And now using a new online ordering system for drive through pickup service. So that we can pre-package it, nobody has to come in the building, and then they can come down and pick up the items already put together. How much Potatoes, tomatoes, and oranges? Yeah. All right, we'll get your order together. Alwyn Bound has benefited from the pantry services for years. Definitely helped sustain me for a while. Now she's working to help ease the burden of UMaine students, faculty, and staff during this outbreak. Is that it? Yeah. I'll be out in a second. Thank you. Um, right now we think we're serving about 75 students and couples out in the community. Feeding Mainers thanks to a key partnership with Good Shepherd Food Bank um, so that we're able to go there and get product from them. UMaine faculty want students to focus on their studies and not on the source of their next twice. meal. With almost 300 students still in dorms here, Hilltop is the only dining hall on campus still open. We are open seven days a week. Um, brunch and dinner and we also have uh, like a coffee service in the lobby. Only 10 students can come in at a time and it's a grab-and-go service here as well. And a lot of students uh, that are still living in the area may have lost their job. Uh, you know that we we employ a lot of students and right now we can't we, we, we don't have work. But they have food for any member of the Yuming family who needs it. In Orono, Hannah Yashivi, New Center, Maine.